What was your experience with Big John Stud? I've heard in several interviews that he was not liked by Andre the Giant. We we called him Big John Dud. <laughs> <laughs> any any we, reason? Is he dull? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he was thick. You know, I, I love the guy. Don't 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 get me wrong. I love the guy. I had no problems with him. Uh, you know, he made a big mistake whenever he said what he did about Andre being a freak. He did an interview where he called, said Andre wasn't a giant; he was a freak. Oh boy! And uh, Andre took offense to that, and that was it. The shit hit the fan. And every time Andre got around him, he just beat the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> it was horrible, man. Hell, when we did that damn match in Atlantic City, you know, and he was the referee. Mm -hmm. Goddamn, I, I was hoping I didn't get hurt because Andre hit him so hard his body exploded and one of his body parts hit me or something. <laughs> you know, Jake Roberts killed by a kidney. You know, <laughs> What a headline. They come flying off of John Studd. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not good to be on Andre's good side. I mean, Iron Sheik experienced that. Randy Savage experienced that. Uh, Randy was scared to death of Andre, and rightly so. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, you know, I, I had an experience with Andre that wasn't good. We... Uh, we had just done the thing where he was scared of the snake and our first match was in LA and we got in the ring and he absolutely guzzled me. Oh boy. He hammered me. He guzzled me. Didn't give me a fucking thing, man. 15 minutes of me getting my ass kicked. Well, it was so bad that when I got to the back, the agents are standing there going, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, looking at me and I'm fucking mad as shit going, fuck this shit. I'm not playing this fucking shit. I'm not doing it. So I, and I said, where the fuck is he? And they just said, he's in his dressing room. He's not, you're not going in there, are you? you fucking right I am. <laughs> so I fucking went in there and I was so angry. I said, Andre, what have I done to you? My God, I'm, I'm hoping that we can actually draw some money with this thing that we're doing. And you set it up perfectly, and then we go out and you do that? You just ate me from head to toe, chewed me up, spit me out. The fucking people are, the fucking people are feeling sorry for me just for being in the ring with you. I said, we can't do that. I'm not going to do that. If that's the way it's going to be, fuck it. I'm not doing it. And he looked at me and just said, okay, boss, we're good. Wow. It was a test. He was testing me to see if I'd fucking stand up for myself. I mean, that's got to be intimidating. I, you know, oh, I brother, you have no idea, man. I'd go to throw a punch and he'd catch my punch in his fist like a, like a baseball mitt. <laughs> you know? And fucking hurt, too, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, you were pretty well established by this point in your career, but just for full context, like Andre is already a legend at this point. Oh, yeah. So, so like coming to him, bursting into his dressing room, kind of being confrontational with him. Yeah, man. Real balls, man. Well, I figured I could outrun him. <laughs> you definitely had that advantage. Yeah. And I'd already made up my mind that if we were going to continue like that, I wasn't fucking doing it. I'll just get out of the fucking ring and walk away because they, we're not giving them a show. We're giving them shit. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was my, my whole thing. And Hey, those people weren't fucking entertained. They're disgusted. Yeah. Now, so, do, you, do you think that if John stud had uh, confronted Andre about his behavior, it would have changed anything? Sure. I think you, if you went to a man to man, you know, and said, you know, been straight up. Hey, I said something really fucking stupid, Andre, and I'm really sorry. But he didn't. You Man, know? It makes you wonder about all the people that he had issues with. Like, maybe he just wanted people to prove, like, hey, look, you know, I'm going to treat you like I'd treat anybody else. 
you had to earn his respect. If you earned his respect, you 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 were okay. <laughs>